TR here with Lunafay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in for another soap making adventure. I apologize now, there is a bee, a wasp in here that just, it can't stop. It can't just let me film this intro without making a lot of noise. So it's, there's two of them. <laughs> they always find their way in here. One's a carpenter bee and one's a wasp. All right, there's a little buzzing in the background. There's lots to buzz about. We got an exciting new soap today. Today's bar is the final soap in the May Shop update, and it's just spectacular. I am so proud of it. It's the best soap ever that I've ever made, and I know I've probably said that before, but I, I mean it. This is the coolest soap. So it is a Peter Pan inspired one, and my sister gave me this idea. She often sends me random themes of like, you need to make this. It'll be in the middle of the night. <laughs> It'll be whatever. And I'll go, mm, yeah, that seems a little intricate and I really don't have the time for that or I don't know how to execute it or I don't think I can do it justice in the details. But when she's like, why haven't you done a Peter Pan soap yet? She was right. So I got right on that and I was excited to make it and I'm excited about how it turned out and I cannot wait to share it with you all. It's just, it's the bomb, it's awesome. Um, it is available in today's shop update, and there's also three other new bars. There is a banana and coconut cream pie, a orange cream vanilla cake slice, and a mermaid donut. It's like breakfast under the sea, I believe is what I called it, because I couldn't come up with anything else. I like a nice little transition. I went from like dessert cakes to like dessert mermaid, and then like Peter Pan, and I think that was just a very smooth transition into it. It makes sense to me. And I've also been inspired to make a Tinkerbell soap. Like that is next. I am going to do that. We gotta have Peter Pan and Tinkerbell soaps. Anyway, <laughs> if you're interested in purchasing any of these bars, they are available on our website, lunafaycreations.com. Go check it out. For now, let's get to making this Lost Boy bar. <laughs> here I am going to mix together my lye solution into my room temperature oils with a whisk. I haven't done this in a while but this is going to be nothing but layers on this soap so I really want as much time as I can get to work with it without it setting up on me too fast. So I'm just going to try and get this all mixed in and incorporated as best as I can before I split off the first layer and the the first layer is going to be like his pants <laughs> and I have some little legs or feet that I made more feet than legs that I'm going to stick in the bottom of my molds as well but let me just get this mixed up enough that I can split it off we don't want it to trace we just want it barely combined all right so I'm gonna fill up this cup a good bit for the leg bit of Peter Pan and I'm going to color it in some Alpine Green by Nurture. Whoa, that just made a mess everywhere. There is a bee or like a hornet, a carpenter bee, something flying around in here and it's it's the season. They are just crazy outside, out back right now. They're flying around everywhere. Like you can't walk outside without the threat of getting pummeled by one. Before I mix this up, I want to show you the little feet that I made. So here are the feet. They are made from round columns, um, a melt and pour base that I colored that I wanted to be brown. <laughs> they look like little hot dog halves, but I'm going to stick these. Yeah, didn't measure them beforehand. Shame on me, but I'm going to try to stick them on the bottom two of course for two feet and then I'm going to mix up that green and we're going to pour that in on top of this let that set up and then pour on another layer and I want the next layer to be his tunic 
and then the layer after that will be his face, the layer after that will be his hair, and then we will work on some piping for his hat. So let's get that green mixed up for his pants. You might hear my kid outside of the door begging to come in. <laughs> Alright, fragrance is called Caribbean Escape. I really hope that I don't regret this choice. Uh, it has 3% Vanillin and it might discolor to a tan and I just don't want it to ruin my whole entire design but there's only one way to find out and I have a feeling that I, I'm, uh, I'm going to be disappointed. But I'm going to go with it because I just thought the fragrance, it sounds perfect. It has, um, it says close your eyes and escape to a carefree paradise like, you know, Neverland with the alluring blend of sweet melon, raspberry nectar, Italian lemon, creamy coconut, and raw sugar cane. And I just thought the name and the description sound like, you know, a little island with pirates and mermaids on it and a little escape to Neverland. So that's why I chose it. But let's get it poured on top of the little feet here. Alright, pour up some for the next layer, same amount, and we're going to color this in a lighter green. It's going to be Green Vibrance by Nurture Soap that we'll put in there for some contrast. So we got the final three layers, well two layers. I'm going to do it in the pot for I wanted a little bit of design in one of these. I am going to do Fire Cider, these are all Nurture Soap by the way, in this bucket. I want this to represent his hair. And then, a little bit more, I've got some Copper Penny and these two colors I'm going to swirl together for a little design as his hair and then for his face part I've got a little bit of honey blush and like I said that fragrance said it might discolor to a tan so I'm not going to add too much and we'll just assume that the color might darken. That's where we're going. So let's mix up his face first. This guy. All right, embed's going on this. I have some melt and pour feathers, like the feather that sticks out of his hat. And I've got some melt and pour stars. These are also made with a column mold and some melt and pour. The idea behind this, the stars anyway, was my sister's. She said I had to put two stars on it so that it's like second star to the right, straight on till morning. And that is why there are two stars going on here. So I'm gonna put two stars on the side and one star on the feather like so 
and I am going to probably finish this off with some glitter. I feel like glitter is necessary. So far, I think this is like the coolest soap I've made this month. And of course, I've saved it for last like I always do. I always make the more intricate or more favorite soaps and save them for the release. I'm so excited about this soap. Um, I'm like, just send me more ideas, please, whatever you got. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is she keeps sending me all these ideas and I'm like, okay, that's way too intricate and I don't have time for that. Um, Peter Pan was a must though. I feel like I also need to do like a Wendy and maybe a Tinkerbell soap. When I was younger, my mom's nickname for me was Tinkerbell. She still calls me that sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, our favorite movie... My sister and I, our favorite movie is the Peter Pan with Jeremy Sumter and it's like the live action one. And I always loved Hook growing up. I love anything Peter Pan. Give me the movies, give me the books. I like it all. I think I actually want to have a birthday party for Bash that's a Peter Pan themed. Maybe this coming birthday when he turns two or three, like never grow up. I also have a quote on his wall that says little boys should never be sent to bed because they grow up a day older. <gasps> Sobs. <laughs> it's so true. When I was little, I used to have a cat. Like, real, real little. I don't even know how old I was. Maybe, like, first grade or so. I named him Toodles. And in Hook, I mean, it's one of those movies that you watch as a dog, an adult and you're like, wait a minute. I probably shouldn't have watched this as a child. <laughs> Toodles lost his marbles. Yeah, that was my cat. I named him Toodles. So, I just love everything Peter Pan, and I love the soap, and I don't know why I never made it sooner. Alright, it is about to storm its butt off over here. It's been so nice out. We've had like 80 degree weather the past three days, and it's like, well, now you gotta pay for it. Here comes the rain. Alright, we are going to add some glitter to this. I have, this is a Eco Glitter by Eco Glimmer. It's called Jade Diamonds. Let's see if I can get that open and give you an up close look of the sparkle. Work, work, work. There we go. I love it. Alright, we gotta add glitter to this, aka fairy dust. And I might add a little bit of gold to it as well. I feel like it just needs some gold on there for fairy dust. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put these embeds on this next one. Look, it's 80 degrees in here. I forget when it's this hot and I turn the fan on, the glitter just goes everywhere. But that's fine. All right, I'll give you guys an up close look and I'll bring you back in 24 hours when I go to cut it. Alright, let's cut into this and I uh, may have tightened one of these strings a little too tight and it broke. Brad's going to kill me. I just can't get used to tightening this thing. I always over tighten it and then they just pop and break. So it's fine. We're going to make this work. Yeah. And then the melt pour in the bottle. She's just... I got this. I got this. I don't got this. <laughs> I should have kept recording. I really had to push down on it and then like each one kind of popped, not popped off, it didn't break. It just made that little clink sound um, individually all the way down. It was like strumming a musical instrument, maybe a guitar because there's no guitar strings. Anyway, <laughs> let's take a look at the inside of this soap. I'm super excited about this and I love it. Okay, do we see the little Peter Pan profile? His hat and his hair, his face, and then his outfit and feet. Um, love it. Also kind of reminds me of like an elf <laughs> with the pointy hat. I may have made it a little too pointy. And I think after cutting the soap, I have to go watch Peter Pan. The movie, not the cartoon. The movie. And I can't wait till Bash gets a little older and can watch them with me. Actually, probably not a good idea because I know all of the words to the Peter Pan movie. So he's probably going to think I'm really annoying and not watch it with me. 
I was thinking after I made the soap about the whole second start of the right and straight on to the morning. In the book, it's just second to the right and straight on to the morning. And if you've ever read the Peter Pan book, it is so odd. Like the style of writing and like the frame of thought that the author wrote in. It's so imaginative and it's almost like written from a child's point of view, but as an adult. I don't even know how to describe it. It's odd. It's it the, the movie's very true to the book, but it's a little it's a little weird. I'm gonna just point that out. And even though it's um Peter saying second to the right and straight on to morning, he actually doesn't have any clue where he's going. So Wendy says. And they travel for days and they like eat food from the mouths of birds. It's very unusual, but highly suggest. It's a very short read, you should read it. And a fun fact that uh, Peter Pan was a play before it was a book. So that's cool. All right, if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, I feel like you need some eyeballs or something. They are available today. The scent isn't too strong, it's very light. I just have to throw that out there. So they're available. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new, think about subscribing. And if you haven't done so, you should. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Leave me any questions or comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.